Let's go back to some of these pictures that have been coming in on the website. Uh, Lamar was a big problem earlier. This is the 7-Eleven at Lamar and 10th. And, it's you always know, a trouble spot for people I out believe there. it was, uh, I want to say 02, Sean, correct me if I'm wrong, that 9th to 12th on Lamar. Remember that? That yeah. it was just completely underwater. So this is the 7-Eleven at 10th, and, and big problems on Lamar Boulevard. They, the good news is they tell us it's starting to recede a little bit, and the crews that we have out in the streets say that Lamar has started to, to recede a little bit. So that is good news, and hopefully by the time, you know, thousands of cars hit Lamar Boulevard this morning that it won't be as bad of a problem. As we continue to get some more pictures into the newsroom, we're putting them up on your screen. I'm going to let you know about some other evacuations going on. And actually, our producer just told us about AISD when it comes to school there. Still uh, no cancellations from them as of 520 this morning. But of course, the situation is still developing. So you want to keep it here. If they have anything to let us know about, we will, of course, let you know about that. Round Rock Police Fire Departments have evacuated up there. It's been really bad. Several dozen homes along the Brushy Creek floodplain. That's an area extending eastward from Harry Man Road down near Sam Bass to Red Bud Lane. It's uh, right parallel to US 79. And I know that Deborah's working on an area over there to let you know how to get um, around that if you are indeed going to leave your home this morning. But of course, we've been advising you to just maybe stay put until the storm has passed. An emergency shelter has been opened up at the Clay Matson Rec Center. If you're watching us from that area and you're needing to evacuate, the Clay Matson Rec Center has been opened up for the evacuations in near the dozen homes along the Brushy Creek floodplain. Yeah, and again, that rain gauge from, uh, I believe it was Cornerwood and 620, which is right near that Brushy Creek area, uh, they were reporting about 13 inches in that rain gauge. Look at Lamar there. That's the same intersection as that 7-Eleven there, and that's just water. You can't see the street there. You mentioned the evacuation centers. Our Natalie Stoll was up in Florence earlier at the evacuation center that is opened there. Six people currently at the shelter at the Baptist Church. 35 were evacuated, so these, these residential evacuations are continuing to go on all over our viewing area. And again, in Florence, just proving Sean's point again that this is so widespread and goes right up and down, uh, what is it, south of San Antonio, all the way up near Waco. So uh, big problems and small evacuations. And then John Hurt comes on with us and tells us there's another one going on, Highway 29 uh, near County Road 100 because of the San Gabriel Bridge and the San Gabriel River. So again, those shelters are open. And boy, if you need it, uh, they're there for you.